Hello again. Uh, I just want to show on this video uh, a couple of things that I, I didn't really had a didn't really have a chance to show on the last video. Um, as I mentioned on the last video, I put carpet on the walls, and it was pretty dark, so you can really see anything. Uh, on this one, I have some light here. You can actually see a little bit better the carpet on the wall. Uh, it's, it's like this is a simple piece. And it's just like a black carpet they sell at Home Depot. And on my project here, I just <laughs> cut the pieces and actually staple them to the wall. Uh, I have a staple gun, uh, gun and a pr um, compressor, and yeah, just a couple of staples per, I guess, per foot or so. Uh, it, it's it's not very soft. It's kind of very rigid, so it'll stay up uh, pretty well. Uh, yeah, put it on the top and on the sides, and, and the reason I did like this is when you have a projector you want your room to be as dark as possible and sometimes if you just paint the wall black you still get some reflection um, in the black carpet I, I, I realized uh, was the best kind of how can I say thing to put on the wall I guess to not reflect the light I mean, some people can put like velvet. Uh, I, I just thought like when I went to Home Depot and I saw this, I, I, I got a piece and then I try and I was like, you know, it, it works. It's not that expensive. And it was actually easy to install. So that's one of the things that you, you need to consider on your home theater, uh, especially if I have a projector. Uh, you want your room to be as dark as possible. And I put a trim on the top and on the sides, just like here, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there's a column. And you can see the column is painted black, but the black paint reflects a little bit of the light. So that's why I decided not to paint the walls black. And you can see it. And it's just like a transition piece between the carpet and the regular wall. And I decided to just go, what, uh, I think it's like about five feet. And it was enough to keep the screen dark enough. Uh, this projector has very good black levels. So when you actually do that, the, your, your picture is going to be a lot better. Uh, I also installed some curtains on the side here. I didn't want to install like a, a permanent divider in the curtains. I can just open and close, you know, as needed. And they match the ones I have on the windows. And they, all, they serve like a dual purpose. Uh, let me go back this way. Uh, not just for the light, but uh, it helps with the sound. Uh, let me see here, just install it like that. So when you turn off the lights, it, it gets pretty dark in here. And that's what you want oh, on your projection room. Yeah, another quick look. And in the last video, I talked about uh, the fans that I installed. Uh, for some people, Another thing to consider too, if you have the fans, is the cooling. Uh, it doesn't really get that hot in here, but I don't want my system to get too hot. And it's an open system, the way I design. Let me get the light here. And metal shelves, and they're floating shelves. Uh, the way I built, so it makes it easy to clean under there. 
That's the speaker fabric cover I made. And the other one on the corner there with the subwoofer behind. And even the furniture sometimes, depending on what kind of furniture you have, will reflect a lot of light from the screen back to the screen. Especially like when you have a this close. So what I do, uh, I, I just have black furniture and I have some uh, blankets here. And, that, and, and as far as the carpet too, uh, as you can see, like even the laminate floor reflects a lot of lights. But if you look at the carpet there, it's not as shiny. So little things like that you can do, you help with the light. And once you turn off the light, you, you'll see it gets very dark. Uh, I, I'll do it quickly before this uh, ends. Hold on a second, let me just go around. Yes, yeah, so it gets very dark. And that's a 120 inch screen. And actually when it gets dark like this, it, it looks like a, a LED, a huge LED screen, uh, a big plasma or whatever you want to call it. And, and those pictures are from YouTube. Uh, it's another video I have on YouTube about my security system, my cameras. So as you can see, the room is pretty dark. And you, you can tell the difference uh, on the walls, like the part that has the carpet and the part that does not have the carpet, how much the light reflects. And you don't have to do the entire room. Some people do a lot more than I do, but I, I, I noticed that like going five feet or six feet from the screen, that's the most critical area. I see when it turns dark, it gets really dark. So uh, I'll, I'll post a couple more videos uh, on my home theater project. Uh, maybe you'll get some uh, ideas from it. And as usual, all the items, uh, I put links uh, on the description. Uh, if you want to find them or buy them. Most of the stuff I usually buy on Amazon. A few exceptions. Uh, I think the only thing I didn't buy on Amazon was the subwoofers. I bought, it, I bought them directly from SVS. But they're sold on Amazon as well. So, Okay, uh, thanks again. And uh, hope you, uh, you like the video.